What's up, YouTube? Okay, so I had to go to the dungeon to make a video. Um, and these right here are actually wall decorations that you could get pretty much anywhere. Um, I've seen so many people um, that have these, but they're awesome. They're really awesome. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to make these videos today and the reason why I said it was important is because a lot of people are dealing with these things in their lives, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether, you know, whoever. <clears throat> so that's the reason why I wanted to make this video. And the first subject of this video is cutting people loose that are trying to break you down. And what I mean by that is if you are in the process of trying to become a successful person in, and you have a positive mindset that you want to elevate, okay, there are going to be people, like I said, whether it is your family, whether it is a friend, whether it is an associate, a co-worker, whoever, a neighbor, they're going to try to break you down. And I'm not saying all. Oh, you do have these kind of people that are out there, okay, that they don't want to see you doing better, um, that they don't want to see you elevate. Um, and that's not the, time, the type of people that you want to have in your life. You want to have people in your life that are going to support you, that are going to be there for you. Okay, so that's that's the main thing of what I want to talk about today. And all of these um, ideas, I think it was frozen. All of these ideas that I have that I'm talking about today came from watching Tyrese's motivational speeches. Okay, and if you don't know who that is, go check him out. It's Tyrese Gibson. Tyrese Gibson. You could just type in that name and type in motivational speeches and he will pop up. He is the guy that is in Fast and the Furious. Um, but the second thing that I want to talk about is negativity. If you guys don't know it by now, negativity is contagious. Okay, have you ever been around somebody and you have been in the best positive mood ever? And as soon as you get around these certain people or this certain person... Your whole demeanor, your whole attitude, everything changes. Okay, you start having a little attitude. You start, you know, saying different things and acting differently. Um, and that is because of these negative vibes that are coming off of these people. So you want to make sure that you are surrounding yourself with nothing but positivity. Okay, very very important when you have positive people around you when you have they call it positive reinforcement okay so when you have somebody that is around you that is steady um cheering you on and saying you know you got this I'm here for you like you know and here for you a lot of people when when you hear the words here for you automatically people think this and it's not that when you say I'm here for you it could be mentally, it could be emotionally, and it could be financially, and it also could be spiritually. Okay, so you have to put that, rem remember that. Okay, when they say I'm here for you, doesn't mean that you can go home and say, oh, well, so-and-so said they was going to be here for me, you know, like, I need, um, let me call them up. No. When you say I'm here for you, and this is where people get it get it twisted at. You have to specify. I'm here for you. Like they say, I'm here for you if you need anything. You know I'm always here for you. Just say, I'm here for you if you need to talk. I'm here for you if you need advice. I'm here for you if you need support. Okay? It's not wrong to say, I'm here for you and specify it. Okay? I've always said... I'm here for you. If I could help out in any way, I will. Okay, because people automatically think I'm here for you, meaning that you could call them 24 hours, seven days a week, um, 365 days out of the year for anything, literally anything. And some people are there for you for everything. Okay, and then there's some people that say, yeah, I'm here for you, but 
I can't do this at this time. Or, yeah, I'm here for you. I can't, whatever. Okay, it's okay to say no. You know, and that's where a lot of people, that's where a lot of their bonds break and a lot of their friendships break because right away they're like, oh, well, you told me you was going to be here for me. I didn't say I'm going to be here for you to give you everything that you need whenever you want it. I'm here for you this way. Okay? Emotionally, physically, not always financially. There's a big difference. Okay, so the third topic is being blessed is a mental thing. Automatically when people say, or when people hear somebody say, I'm blessed. It's not this. This is not always the answer. I'm blessed mentally. Because I have in my head that I'm going to get through everything that I need to get through because this is strong. Okay, I'm blessed because I choose to put people around me that are good for me. And that's not very many. I can count on my one hand how many people that I literally have in my circle. On my hands. Some people might say, that's it. That's all I need. These people are the ones that matter. These people are the ones that I can go to, not financially, that I could go to literally right now. No questions asked and they will be there for me. Mentally, physically, emotionally. Not the last one. Because I, me, I don't like asking people for anything. Unless I absolutely was in need. And there are a few people that I could put on camera that could tell you that. And the thing is, is that a lot of people, when you say, I'm blessed, right away they think, oh, he's what, you better than me? No, I'm not better than you. I'm blessed. I can say that to my, for myself. I'm blessed. I have a roof over my head. I have food. I have a vehicle. And I have money coming in. It's not a lot. But that's what matters. Okay? And I have love. And it's bad that I have love more from a distance than I do close up. And it's thanks to y'all. Because honestly, without my YouTube family... I would probably be really super stressed out right now. But thanks to y'all, y'all are what keeps me going. All right, so the last topic for this video is family and friends are the first to steer you away from greatness. And like I said, this is all quotes and videos from Tyrese that I'm just putting into one big video and giving my opinions on them. Um, he's a very amazing person. Uh, he, I, at one time, I started listening to him and it was every morning. And I wanna get back to doing that because it helped me so much. So the reason why I was saying family and friends are the first to, see, to steer you away from greatness is because when you tell somebody something, when you tell somebody a goal that you have, whether it's a family or a friend, have you ever noticed that they, 
they use the magic word, but. They use the magic word. Well, um, I told someone in my family some good news, and right away they were, well, you have to make sure, you know, that, you know, you're making the right decision, and, you you know, you don't want to jump into and I get it. Me saying it seems like it's very genuine. But if you knew personally, it's not. Okay? It's a way of, I want to keep you here and me here. I don't want you to be like this. I want you to be this way and me up here. And it shouldn't be that way. I am going to be honest with you. I, these five people that I could count on are my only friends. If I was to factor in my YouTube support, maybe four. That's it. But these people right here are close. YouTube's not. And I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying, like, these will come first because they are here. One of these people, I could call, I could text at any time. And they are here to listen to me. They are here to give me advice. They are here to be a true, true best friend from afar. And it's not even family. But it's bad whenever you can't count on your own family to support you, to be there for you. Because see, the thing is, is, when I told my family about me doing the YouTube and me being monetized and, you know, me making money off of YouTube, they looked at me and they're like, okay, okay. What it is, yeah, okay. Like, what are you talking about? Like, why can't you just be like, I'm happy for you. And I said this in my previous video that I did on my porch. And, you know, Jay Breezy and Yolanda, they, they commented on it. Um, there were a few other people. <sighs> See, there goes my wine down because I've been up since 5.30. Um, but, I don't know. Like, I, it's just... I'm going to tell you this one. I'm going to, I'm going to actually, because I want to make this video a little bit longer. And I know that my real supporters, I know they're going to actually sit there and listen to this and watch the whole thing. So if you made it this far in the video, I need you to comment family. If you literally watched this whole video, I'll know if you did because you will say that. Okay, so the last thing that I want to talk about is if you want something, go get it. Even from when you were a child, if, if you said, Mommy, I want a drink. When you were little, little, I get it. But when you were a little bit older, go get it. I want to play with this. Go get it. Now that you're a little bit older, man, I want to have, I want to have a nice house. I want to have two cars. I want to go get it. And I'm not saying you can just Boom, go get it. Like, it's, it, you have to work. Everything that you want in life is not going to be just given to you. You need to get up off of that chair that you sitting in on, that couch that you watching this video on, this chair that you watching this video on, that work desk that you sitting at. Wherever you are right now literally watching this video, you want something, get up off that chair, that couch, wherever you're sitting at, Wherever you're laying at, go get it. Go grind for it. 
That's the reason why I do all of these videos that I do. I don't do them just to do them. Because I have a goal that I am trying to achieve. And I'm going to get it. So you're not going to have anything just handed to you. There are people that are born with a silver spoon in their mouth. But does that really last forever? Like money runs out. So you can't just sit around and just think, okay, well, I have $5 million because, you know, I, it was left to me. I'm rich. $5 million runs out. If you literally do nothing but sit on your ass and spend money, it's going to run out. It may take a while, but it's going to run out. And to me, the people that were born with a silver spoon in their mouth that had everything handed to them, that's nothing to me. I'm here. People that had things handed to them are here. And nobody's better than anybody else. By no means am I, am I better than anybody. But mentally, I see myself up here because I'm grinding for everything that I want. And I'm going to get it. But the people that are just handed things, they literally have... No grind mentality at all. None whatsoever. So if you want something, go get it. Because it's not going to come to you. And it's not going to be free. That's all I'm saying. Alright y'all. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up, two thumbs up, three thumbs up. Get these likes up. Comment on this video and let me know what you guys think. Do you guys know Tyrese? Do you guys watch him? Because I love watching his videos. I'm actually, when I get off of here, I'm actually going to watch one. Because it just keeps me in that positive mentality to, to keep doing what I'm doing, to keep grinding, to keep going at it because just sitting around... It's not going to get you anywhere. It's not. So there's a difference. There's a difference between a watcher and a doer. I'm definitely a doer. I'm a doer. Uh, see, watcher, doer. Because guess what? I'm going to get shit done. By any means necessary, I'm going to get it done. Like I said, I don't like asking for help. Unless I absolutely am at my last wit and I'm just like, I, I just, I, I need that to get over this little hump that I'm at. But I always get over it. No matter what. And I'm going to keep getting over it. Y'all just watch. Just wait on it. Just wait on it. I promise you. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. If you guys keep grinding, whether it's YouTube, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, TikTok, 9 to 5 job, whatever it is, your own business, just watch. But you can't sit around and wait for it to come because it's not going to. Go get it. words from the wise man in the land of the blind the one-eyed man is king let that marinate rewind a little bit let it, let it play again in the land of the blind the one-eyed man is king boom like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications i will see you guys in the next video